Hello everyone and welcome again to another Absurd Heroine video. So today, the Throne of Eldraine released. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. Um, but by the time this video actually gets up and you watch it, it will probably have been out for like a week or so. Um, so what's the very first deck that I want to play for you? Uh, this little combo that a friend of mine told me about, uh, which I just took with and ran with because it's uh, it sounded super fun. So I brewed a nice little mono black deck around cat food, basically, around cauldron cat, which is when cauldron familiar enter, well, I'm sorry, cauldron familiar, which is a cat. And when cauldron familiar enters the battlefield, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. And then you can sack a food to bring it back into battlefield from your graveyard. And this other card called the witch's oven, which you sacrifice a creature to create a food token. And if the sacrifice creature's toughness is four or greater, it creates two food tokens instead. So yes, we are baking cats <laughs> and it makes a, a little pie. <laughs> um, we're baking cats and then we're feeding those cat pies to other cats and we're just creating this wonderful loop of pinging our opponent over and over and over again. So that's the whole entire deck. That's what the whole entire deck is like based off of. Um, so what else do we have in here? We have Spectre Shriek, which is the new car uh, hand hate for black. So opponent reveals their hand. Um, you choose an online card from it, and if it's not black, then you have to also exile a card from your hand. But there's a lot of black in this set, so... Um, I have not yet actually had to exile a card from my hand, so that's fun. Uh, then Legion's End, just to deal with some of the um, early game aggro. Midnight Reaper, this works beautifully with your cat, so you want to like get um, your combo pieces, or you just want more card draw, or whatever have you. This will help us dig through our deck. Then we have a Yara, first of Lochthwain. So she, whenever um, Lochthwain or another uh, black creature enters the battlefield in your control, each opponent loses life and you gain a life. So it's more of that if you have this out, when you have the culture familiar out, then they're losing two life and you're gaining two life. It's very fun. And then you can sacrifice another black creature to draw a card. Foreboding Fruit, target player draws two cards and loses two life. And then if three black mana has been cast, um, spent to cast the spell, then you make a food token. So sometimes you'll find yourself in a position where you don't have any food tokens, but you have your cats in the graveyard. And in that case, you want to create more food. And this helps us make more food. This helps us draw cards. So it's just a, a good little way of digging through your deck. Then we have Deathless Knight. So haste when you... Uh, gain life for the first time each turn, return it from the graveyard to your hand. So this is just a good way of like also getting another meaningful creature onto the battlefield and in the graveyard and into your hand. Just that kind of like cycle which triggers some of our other cards like Sir Conrad, um, which we'll get to in a second, but bake into a pie. So destroy target creature, make a food token, very, very simple. Then Sir Conrad. So whenever another creature dies or a creature card is put into the graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefields, or a creature card leaves your graveyard, Sir Conrad the Grim deals one damage to each opponent. So if you have like Deathless Knight, for example, out, um, then when it dies... When it goes into the graveyard, it ping, it pings, and then when it goes back into your hand, it pings. So we have like a bunch of like creature graveyard um, movement uh, synergy in this deck, and that's basically what it's all built around. And then we have Witch's Cottage. Uh, actually, let's go through uh, Castle Lothwain first. Castle Lothwain um, enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a swamp add a swamp, um, add black mana, and then you can draw a card and lose life equal to the number of cards in your hand. Um, I have yet to actually use this because I usually have a lot of cards in my hand and I don't want to take all the damage um, from drawing. But anyway, maybe we'll get to that point. Then Witch's Cottage, when it enters the when it enters the battlefield untapped, um, well, I'm sorry, when it enters the battlefields, uh, you can untap it if you control three or more other swamps. So you have to, it has to be the fourth card at least uh, that comes out. Um, and then if it un enters untapped, you can put a creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. So I've been very unimpressed with Witch's Cottage so far, but I'm leaving two of them in here because sometimes you want like a Sir Conrad or an Iara. Um, but it's just, it's really slow. And if you get it early, like when I was first starting to play this deck, I would, um, get like four of them in my hand in the beginning of the game. It's like, what the hell? How does that happen? But it's very bad early. Um, if, when it comes in play tapped. So anyway, that is cat food um, or cat bake. I like, I like cat bake, but I've called it cat food. So let's, let's play some. Let's go bake some cat pies. Toka. 
Ooh, this is a really slow hand, especially if they're not playing black. So I think I want to mulligan this, honestly. I don't know, that's a uh, tricky, this is a tricky mull. Eh, I think I'll keep it. Let's live dangerously. All right, so they are not black at all. <laughs> so this is a cavalcade deck. Ooh, okay, so that's actually good. So we'll probably cauldron familiar, I suppose. It's probably going to kill it, but whatever. We will also definitely trade. Okay. Okay, no blocks. I think we will Spectre Shriek here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel so good. All right. So, this is a deck. I guess we'll just get rid of Skewer the Critics. And we're gonna have to pitch something. Can we pitch a swamp? We can. Sweet. I didn't realize we could pitch lands. I thought we had to pitch a... Um, I thought we had to pitch a black thing. A black thing. A uh, <laughs> black card. I'm like so excited about our combo. We actually drew our combo, which is just like a miracle. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Okay. So we don't actually want to bring out our cauldron familiar here until we get our witch's oven untapped. So my turn. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next. And it doesn't cost any mana to do this. So if we get multiple witches ovens, we can just do it multiple times. It's pretty beautiful. It is a thing of beauty. Alright. Sure. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Pass. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Another cauldron familiar. Okay. Um, so I guess we'll bring out the cauldron familiar again. Nom nom nom. And we'll just keep up baked into a pie. I suppose we don't need to be bringing the cauldron familiar back at this point. We could do it like at the beginning of their attack phase. Or whatever have you. Okay, so we're going to block this one. And we'll uh, bake into a pie this one. <laughs> yeah. Create an Om Nom token. I mean, they didn't get all the pieces that they needed. They got plenty of burn, which doesn't really help. They didn't get their cavalcade. So, I mean, no, you know what? It was the deck. The deck is amazing. This deck is just beautiful. <laughs> Tom Wards. All right. I like people who play Jaya. Take a risk and play the old lady. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is everything that we could possibly want. So we're going to keep it. We're going to play Witch's Oven first. Because we want to be able to uh, sacrifice the Cauldron Familiar if he damages it or anything like that. It does uh, direct damage. So we have Gruul here. 
crawl harpooner. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Let's bring out our cauldron familiar. Hello. Go ahead. <laughs> it feels so good when you get the combo. This is very lucky. We've had very lucky games so far. We've we've gotten our combo both times. Hopefully they don't have any artifact hate. If they have artifact hate, then I'm very sad. So we don't have any way of getting artifacts back. We have plenty of ways of getting creatures back. Not so much artifacts. Okay. So we're going to want to bake into a pie something here. Yeah. Because that's just going to get... That's going to become a problem. So block here. Bake that into a pie. And then I guess we'll bring it back. Probably should have waited until we dropped Ayara, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, definitely should have waited until we dropped Ayara. That was a misplay. Hopefully we don't lose by one. <laughs> But this is a tough one. This is... Okay. So... What's he gonna put a plus one plus one counter on? That guy? Okay. Share in my strength. Interesting. Okay. What's he going to attack with here? Just that? Okay. Okay. So we'll block here and here. If he's got some sort of combat trick, then okay. He does not. Interesting. Very interesting play. Okay, so we can foreboding fruit at this point, um, but I think we want a deathless knight and just get in. Is that what we want to do? I think so. I think we just want to get in at this point. He can block if he wants, shock if he wants. It's okay. We're gonna be getting this Deathless Knight back every single turn. So we could probably just sacrifice him to draw a card, but we'll wait. We'll wait on that. You can sack it to Ayara, draw a card, then cast him again, and get in again. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love this. <laughs> wonder if they have um, style. Card styles for this. Okay, right. Sure. Plus one, plus one counter. Okay. Synergy with Jang Yang Gu. Sure, sure. Mm hmm. Just that one? Okay. Okay. That works for me, if that works for you. Okay. I will help you through this. Thanks, Jang Yangu. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so he needed another green. I got it. All right, whatever. So we're gonna witch's oven. This guy. And we're going to sacrifice Deathless Knight. And I guess we'll wait. <laughs> That's actually not a bad draw. Sacrifice food. All right. So do we want to just bring out Deathless Knight again? I think we do. Or do we want to Legion Zen something? I think we'll just Deathless Knight. What the heck? What the heck, man?
We can just get him back every turn. Yep, sure. Okay. No biggie. Okay. Don't care too much about that. So what are we, are we, I guess we're just sitting here and waiting, huh? Zerta Goblin? I mean, we could Legion Zen that just for fun. It really doesn't matter. We're just gonna sit here and do our combo and kill him eventually. Kill her eventually. Tom Wards, eventually. Sure. We'll do this together. You just going to attack with everything? I really don't care too much. But I will kill your Legion War Boss. I am totally okay with that. Pass. Okay. Alright. So. Now we just keep going. My turn. Yeah, I mean, they're just dead now. Yeah. Because they attacked with everything. Which is silly. Bam! <laughs> this is such a fun deck. There's a lot of really fun decks to be had with the Throne of Eldraine. I am super happy with the set so far. I mean, granted, it just came out, and I'm always happy with all the sets when they come out because it's something new and fresh, but this one's just so f quirky. It's so quirky and fun. I might eat those words. Maybe later on, like, a year from now, when it eventually goes away, I'll be like, oh, thank god. Don't need that garbage anymore. Um... We need one more land. But I think I'm gonna keep it, because we have Spectre Shriek, so we can... see what they have, get rid of any early threats. Interesting. I guess we'll get rid of that guy. Happy they're black. Now we need one more land so that we can foreboding fruit. Or I'll take any of our combo pieces too. Don't really want our our high end cards though. Let's get a let's get our combo pieces here, people. Or a land. A land would also be cool. That's unfortunate. Ooh, feels bad, man. Feels bad. Oh, and they got one anyway. Enters the battlefield. Target knight gains death touch and lifelink until end of turn. Sure. So this is... Rakdos knights, I guess, huh? Yeah. Okay. Not exactly what I want, but, you know. Sure. Viscous Rumors. It's a good card. Spectre Shriek is a good card. I'm liking it so far. They have a lot of lands. But we are not drawing any combo pieces or lands ourselves, <laughs> which we really need. There we go. Hello. Okay. Um, I guess we'll Midnight Reaper first. No, he'll just shock that. That's cool. This adamant uh, animation, I think this is the first time I've seen it. I wonder if it's different for every color? It must be. Okay. That was not ideal, I guess. I mean, Midnight Reaper, so I guess I'll play Midnight Reaper next turn. Hope that we get, I don't know, our combo pieces or lands or something. If we get a land, we can bake into a pie and we'll start eating our food. This is my favorite food token, by the way. There's a couple of different food tokens. This one's definitely my fave because of the bananas. The bananas just like look weird. All right. So that's going to get shocked 
like, immediately. And then he's gonna attack with both, and the Knight of the Ebon Legion's gonna get big. Yeah. Or he could probably pump it. Are we just dead? We're just dead. Yeah, okay, we're dead. We're just dead, because he can pump the Knight of the Ebon Legion, right? And then he'd be attacking us for six and then shock us for eight. Oh well. That was a bad hand. I suppose I should have mulliganed that. It was a weird... It was a weird mulligan. Because we did have the food card that drew us two cards, but we just didn't end up getting our stuff fast enough. We didn't end up getting our third land fast enough to make it relevant. We were kind of like already losing at that point. Cascacabal. Cascabal? Cascabal 85. Hmm. Okay. Sure. We can keep this. We don't have our Commer pieces, but we do have some removal, and we have the Castle of Loch Thwain, so... What do you got? Okay. Two Fervent Champions. Okay. So this is just a hasty deck? It's gonna hurt. So we're gonna dump Sir Conrad. So there's no way we're gonna get up that far. Unfortunately. It doesn't look like we're gonna win this. <laughs> we are probably not gonna win this. And I guess we'll Spectre Shriek again with the Sir Conrad. Like, ugh, light up the stage. So what is this? This is... Whenever it attacks, another attacking knight you control gets plus one, plus one. So this is a knight, a goblin knight. So we could light up the stage. I think we might actually want to take the light up the stage, but this is going to represent a lot of damage, so we got to get rid of that. And now we can castle Loch Thwain for not a ton, because... <laughs> Wait, do we have to tap this too? No, we can't. We have to have four mana in order to castle Loch Thwain. Oh god. This is not going to go very well. Okay, alright, cool. So me. Okay, good. So now we can bake into a pie this fervent champion. He actually doesn't have much in the way of mana here. But he might get it with light up the stage now. Light up the stage, man. What a card. Chandra Spitfire. Hmm. Okay, so I suppose we can Midnight Reaper hold up baked into a pie. Or no, we can't hold it up, but I mean, we can bake into a pie next time, because this is not a knight, so I'm not really caring about that too much. I think I might actually want to kill this. No, I'm not going to block that. Another Spectre Shriek. Uh, okay. I am just going to pass the turn. We can bake into a pie or draw with Castle Lock the Wayne if we want. I didn't put down a land because I think I want to... Uh, yeah, I'll take that action. Sure. I think I might actually block the Footlight Fiend here. Because I wouldn't mind drawing a card. Well, no. Whatever, I don't care. I'll just take the one. I'll just take the one. Another Midnight Reaper. I guess I'll cast the other Midnight Reaper and Spectre Shriek. Ooh. Okay. Let's get rid of Chandra. <laughs> and no tax. Alright. Sure. 
Another land. So I think we're going to want to draw a card here. <clears throat> oh, I probably should have dropped the land first. That was kind of stupid of me, actually. Now I think about it. Okay, so we can just pop food at this point. If he gets us low enough to kill us. Um, yeah, I guess we'll decline that. I have to. It's unfortunate, but I gotta. Okay. Alright, so let's sacrifice the food here. Another Spectre Shriek. a good card. I really like Spectre Shriek. Diamond Knight, sure. It's a lot of lands, bro. Sure. And he can deal one damage to my Deathless Knight. We'll just get it back when we sack a food token. Oh, that's also pretty good. Okay, Ayara, good. Okay, good. End turn, we can sack a food token if we want at the end of the turn, and then we can Ayara. Not bad, not bad. Could do with that Legion's end here though. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, too bad. Okay. Okay, thankfully they don't have anything that deals damage in their graveyard. Okay. Pass. What are you gonna do? Why did you not do anything? Oh, I see. Sure. Remember this one? Yeah. Okay, well, resolve. Okay. Um, so I guess we want to, what do we want, what do we want to do here? Attack Chandra? Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think we can. We just have to hope that they don't have, you know. Um, we just have to ha hope that they don't draw more, um, direct damage. I don't really care if they block our Footlight Fiend, block with a Footlight Fiend, and then kill it. Kill our Deathless Knight, that's okay with, with me, because we draw two cards. We might take two damage, but we draw two cards. Okay. I don't think they can deal seven damage to us. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, great. There's the Cauldron Familiar. Awesome. Oh, this is... that didn't work? How come that didn't come back? Ah, fuck yeah! Hey, we won! <laughs> I was not expecting to win that game. But I guess it's frustrating just to have your opponent, you know, get your opponent so low and have them come back up again. Okay, cool! Great! Awesome! Uh, let's open up that pack, I guess. Take a wee break to open up a pack. Okay, Ranger. I love the Fox Riders. Very, very cool. And Lock Mirror Serpent. Alrighty. Let's play more. We've won all of our games so far, right? <laughs> no, no, we did lose. We lost one because we had a really bad opening hand. 
that's acceptable. Mr. Cashwell. Okay, it's great. Love it. Great opening hand. We'll keep it. The kitties are now, like, just sleeping. Which is weird. You can't, like, interact with them anymore. Okay. Hello. Ow. We are not gonna block. We'll Legion's end. I don't mind Legion ending this Footlight Fiend. Cavalcade of Calamity, baby. Alright. Do you want to attack me? That is the question, I suppose. How much do you value your own Footlight Fiend? Hopefully they have like three Footlight Fiends in here. That would be great. Hey, they value it pretty hard. Spectre Shriek was a good draw, but we're gonna Legion's in here first, I think. Just to be more mana efficient. Holy crap! <laughs> okay. Okay! So we're definitely getting rid of... Chandra's Spitfire. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. Because we can't Legion Zen that, unfortunately. Oops. Oh, God, I picked the wrong one. Clicked too quickly. Damn. That was really bad. I guess we'll get rid of a swamp. Ooh, that was really bad. I think we're dying now. Yeah. Because now this guy is going to be really big every turn. We can't kill it with a Legion's End. So we basically need to draw... There's nothing that we can draw. <laughs> Alright, I fucked up. I fucked up this one. Let's, uh... Let's just go on to the next one. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, everybody. So, what do you guys think about old Drain so far? Is it super fun for you two? Post in the comments below. I would actually love to see what you guys think about it. I mean, okay. This is a great hand if they have black cards in their hand. But I guess we'll keep it. I guess we'll keep it. I would love to have some of these Spectre Shrieks be something else. <laughs> but whatever. Okay. So this is a deck. Let's get the heck out of it. <laughs> Let's get rid of that right away. And we'll get rid of a Death Knight. Deathless Knight, I think. Next turn, we can cast Cauldron Familiar and our other Spectral Shriek. Hydroid Crisis. So this is like a Hydra deck? It's kind of what it looks like. Yeah, we get rid of the Crisis. What the heck? And, um, I think we'll get rid of our other Spectral Shriek. Honestly. Because we are going to need three lands. Three lands is kind of like the perfect... Not perfect. We want... We do eventually want five, but... Damn it. We drew another land. That's not what we wanted. We want a... Witch's Oven. Or a Midnight Reaper. Oh my god. I guess we should have dropped that land, huh? That sucks. It's not what we wanted. <laughs> Not what we wanted at all. And they got another Hydra Crisis. Wow. No attacks. Okay. So how about we draw less lands? That would be awesome. I guess we should have dropped that land instead of a Spectral Shriek. There we go. There's at least something. Uh, 
We need a witch's oven. If we can get a witch's oven. Oh my goodness. They have slightly more power than we do. <laughs> the cards. Slightly on a different power level here. Yeah. Hey, we got our witch's oven. That's cool. All right. But, uh, yeah. Good God. All right. So we're kind of in trouble here. Sir Conrad? No, which is cottage. Okay. But it doesn't matter. If we don't draw, like, a bacon to a pie or something. Ayara. Still don't think that it matters. Because we need... We are going to need one more. And Midnight Reaper is going to kill us, so... Yeah, what do we do here? I don't think there's anything that we can do. I think we're just dead. Ugh. They drew just all of the amazing cards. And we just drew all of our lands. <laughs> but hey, that's Magic the Gathering sometimes. That's just how it works. Just forget about it and go on to the next one. So light is the lighting still off for this for these videos? I'm sorry. I am really trying very hard to get the lighting right for all of these videos. What? What? What the hell is this? Uh, okay. Yeah, this is okay. This is fine. We've got part of our combo piece and we can draw into our other combo pieces. Fibbleth is not a planeswalker. I mean, they, they have lots of other avatars that are not planeswalkers. It bothers me. That bothers me deep down inside. I mean, it would be great if Fibbleth was a planeswalker. That would actually be really cool. They should totally make him one. Then he could be totally lost everywhere. All right, yeah, we're keeping this. We can Ayara and Foreboding Fruit. We'll probably Foreboding Fruit first, depending on what we draw. If we draw a cat, oh my god, if we draw a cat. Yeah. Another Cavalcade deck, come on. Can we not, please? Can we not? So I guess we'll Ayara in this case. We need a Spectre Shriek to get their cavalcades or whatever. Oh my god, listen to that. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay. I didn't realize that there was like a Fibble package. <laughs> All right. Spitfire. Of course. Of course. So I guess we are going to bring out our Ayara here. To block the Scorch Spitter, because the Chandra Spitfire is going to be very big. Hopefully he does not have an answer for my Ayara, because that would make me sad. Okay. He's just trying to make his Spitfire really big. Can he kill us? I don't think so. He's gonna get us pretty low, but he's not gonna be able to kill us. Unless he's got more direct damage. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Chandra Spitfire. 
How many of these decks have we played against today already? Three? It's our third one? Ugh. All right. Let's keep going. Forget about it. All right. Signar 527. Uh, okay. So we have our cauldron familiar in foreboding fruit. So I guess we'll keep this. Okay, that was a good draw. So if they drop a two drop, we will Legion's End. And if not, we'll drop a Witch's Cottage. That feels right. Okay. We shall Legion's End this. What you got? Show me what you got. Whisper Agent. Unexplained disappearance. Okay. Okay. Excellent. That was a good draw. So I guess we'll drop our Ayara. I guess maybe we'll attack with our cat first. And then drop our AR. If he wants to bounce it back to our hand, then like whatever. And that's exactly what they want to do, which makes sense. But whatever. We will just cast it again next turn. And we'll get the uh, comes into battlefields effect once again. Discovery, sure. We got another bacon to a pie, which is great. It's a good card. Um, pretty sure this comes into play untapped, right? No, tapped. Oh, right, because Lockthwain is not a swamp. Lockthwain is not a swamp. Okay, so now we can do... Um, I guess we'll Foreboding Fruit? No, we'll Deathless Knight. Deathless Knight. Deathless Knight is cute. But we can start killing our Cauldron Familiar with Ayara, because we'll get food from foreboding fruit and baked into a pie. Ah, deadly visit. Maybe we should have held on to our witch's cottage. Whatever. It's cool. That was their whole turn. So we'll just deathless knight here and get in for five. And we can bake lots of pies. We can just bake all of the pies. But we'll probably foreboding fruit next turn. Blood operative, sure. Okay. Okay. I think we're gonna bake you into a pie, my friend. And attack with all the things. Like, whatever. Yep. Trade. Trade. And then we can just get it back when we pop our pie. Sure. Or not. Because he's going to cast it and then get our... Target our death knight. Our deathless knight. Most likely. That would be the right thing for them to do. And... We're going to want to kill this guy, I'm pretty sure. Did we just draw? Okay, that's fine. That works. Um, so I think we do want to bake this into a pie. We don't want to deal with this. Yep. And we'll just end the turn, and whenever, if they surveil and then they get their blood operative back, we can um, get our kitty back. Sure. So I don't really care about that. Sure. Sure. Pass, pass. We'll just bring out our kitty. 
foreboding fruit. Okay. So do we want to bake this spy bug into a pie? I think we just want to attack with our cauldron familiar. That's fine. I draw a card. We can get our kitty back whenever we want. Uh, and I guess we'll foreboding fruit at this point, too. Ooh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to. <laughs> I was like, I can target them, but I don't think I want to do that. I could probably have just killed him if I did it twice with... Yeah. Ah, whatever. We're, we're good. <laughs> we're, we're fine. I'm not super worried. Okay. Sure. I don't super care about that. Sure. Also don't super care about that. Oh, all right. Sure. But we have Sir Conrad. So I don't really care about that because he's going to work with a blood operative combo that they've got going on here. And he doesn't want the blood operative. This is strange. I'm not sure why they're not doing this blood operative thing. Oh, because you have to pay three life for it. I got gotcha. you. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize you had to pay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so we're going to bring the cauldron familiar back right now so that we can attack with it. Nom nom nom. Um, and I guess we'll just attack. Is there any way that we can win this turn? I don't think so. Pretty close. But we'll bring out Sir Conrad. Okay. Great. I think that's it. We just win. Bam! <laughs> Alright. Cool. I think that's a good place to end it. And I can hear my cat meowing outside. Dying of starvation because he's on a diet. We have a very fat cat and he just got put on a diet. <laughs> he like meows every single time. It's like anywhere near breakfast or dinner. Anyway. So that was, uh, speaking of which, <laughs> that's cat food. Um, the awesome freaking cat witch's oven, cauldron familiar witch's oven deck. And I really love this deck. This deck is so much fun. Um, it works really, like all the pieces really, really work uh, well together and are fun to play. I'm very surprised by how well Spectre Shriek is. I think we didn't do so well with this on one of their games. I kind of made some mistakes on Spectre Shriek, but I mean, we open with three of them in our hand, which is not exactly ideal. Um, but yeah, everything else just worked beautifully. Foreboding fruit is like pretty good too. Um, baked into a pie is meh. Uh, but I mean, it's removal that works in this deck specifically, which is cottage, as I said earlier, is also kind of meh. But this little, this little combo together with Ayara and Sir Conrad, Deathless Knight, like, ooh, and Midnight River, mm, it just works together so deliciously. Um, so anyway, yeah, so that was cat food. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this deck. I absolutely enjoyed playing this deck for you all. And until the next time that we meet, have good luck in all of your games. Ciao!